Managing assets can be tedious. Would you like to make it easier? Then Kanban board is for you. With Kanban board, we can easily change the status or any other option set just by drag and drop. Uh, here is how the Kanban board looks like. We have a tab, it's called assets, and uh, it's divided into four categories. This represents the option set, or in our case, it's functional status. And by dragging and dropping the asset into a different category, we change its status. Now, how to set it up? It's uh, very simple as with uh, all of our components. What we are going to do is, this is an account, uh, account form, and uh, this is a form editor. We will add a new tab here at the top, and this will be uh, called asset. We already have a new section here, so we go to the components, and under more components, we have Kanban board. We drag and drop this component into the new section. Now it's time to define the properties. First is table. As we want to display assets, we will select asset. We'll have to change this later on, but uh, now let's select the table, the view, all assets, that's fine. Uh, next property is show labels. We don't need to see labels of, uh, of the uh, fields that we have in the view, so we'll select false. Now the property. This property defines the columns that we've seen in uh, the Kanban board. We will select uh, functional status. Another property is color coding. So if you want to add another option set that will define different colors for the records, we can do that. We can select the same one or uh, choose a different one. We will choose asset type. And now in the colors, we have to state what colors we want to use. So we'll go with green, blue, red and uh, gray. Once you're done, click done and the Kanban board is loaded. Now, what you can uh, uh, change to make it look better, you can hide the label. You can also hide the label of the section as uh, we have uh, the name in the tab. Next, you can uh, uh, change the maximum number of rows to, for example, 20, so that you can see more records uh, in the Kanban board. Now, another thing that we have to define or redefine is basically we want to see all only those assets that are related to the account I selected. This is a thing of uh, the Power Platform. It's um, unfortunately a way around. So we have to go to the properties and click show related records. And this will reset the component. So we have to define the table that we want to display once again. So we have accounts, we want to see assets related to my account and we'll select all assets. Currently, we don't see any because this is a form for a new account. It's a form editor. When we click save and publish in the application, in the application player, we should see the component work properly. So this is my application. It's an account form. We go to the asset tab and we see the assets in the functional status categories. We can drag and drop to a different category. You can also see the color coding that defines the status of asset type. So this is the Kanban board. If you would like to try, go to our website.